Hey there guys, I'm Lee Williamson and today I'm going to teach you how to make a fast and dirty hand rig uh, using a bend deformer and a restriction tag, a really cool trick that I learned from Hololux. So without further ado, let's dig in. Right, so I want to do build a quick rig for hand typing. Uh, so I'm going to show you how I resolve this. Uh, first of all, we want to use a bend deformer and we can whack that underneath the hand and we can fit to parent and when we put our strength on it's not going to bend correctly so you can go into your coordinates say 90 and 90 and if i zoom out of this you see the bend deformer has now rotated and i can say fit to parent and then all I need to do is scale down the size of the bend deformer now. So I can scale it down and then move it forward. I'm going to put my camera back on at that right angle. And then we can shrink it down. Right, so we've got it on the middle finger over here. Problem is, when you animate it, it's going to move all of the fingers. So we would like to know how to restrict it. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to leave this bent nice and high. And I'm going to turn the bendy form off. In fact, I can just press Q on my keyboard. Um, and that should just turn all my uh, subdivision surface off. Now we had this finger uh, animated, so I can click on it, press UI on my keyboard, and uh, UI again. Actually, you know what? I think I'll only select the beginning with UI, select it once. I'll go into my set selection, and let's just call this middle finger. Right, so we have middle finger. Then we go back and we turn these on. And we go to our tags and you'll find something called a restrict restriction tag. And we're gonna put this restriction tag on the bend deformer. And then all I have to do is drag that selection of that middle finger down to the restriction tag. And now what you'll notice is it only restricts it to that selection that I made, which is fantastic. You can now animate the finger individually. So let me just make this bend deformer just a little bit uh, thinner because I don't want it to uh, animate the whole hand, uh, the whole length of the finger. So let's see. So we can bend that deformer down. Let's put it to a strength of let's say about a about nine. Let's put it on ninety. That's fine. Ninety is cool. Right. So I can go to the beginning keyframe, a uh, drop keyframe, put it on zero, and record that. Go up to frame five. Put it on ninety, as mentioned, and then up to. 10 and back down to zero. So now we should have one finger typing on the keyboard. Now, if you want to do loop that animation, you can right click here, go to animation, uh, show F curve, and we can click on the bend and go to after and choose offset repeat. And I'm just gonna make it animate or repeat a hundred times. So now if you look at my curve manager, you'll notice it just continues to animate so now we've got ding, 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 ding. That finger's animated. And if we wanted to make another one, so let's just call this uh, middle finger. And I'm just gonna duplicate that by holding Control Shift on the keyboard. And we've got another one. And let's call this, oh, let's be lazy, other finger for now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag that to the next finger and uh, I'll click on on my hand, 
press Q on the keyboard uh, so that I can turn off the subdivision surface. Click on the finger, press UY, that expands the selection, and then go and set selection. And let's just call this other finger. And now I'll go back to our restriction tag and just drag in the other finger. And now we've got both hands going. And as you'll notice, they're both going at the same time. So we could just offset the keyframes. So we can go back inside here, show F curve manager. Uh, I zoom out with the two on the keyboard. And let's just drag this forward, maybe two keyframes. And ding, ding, ding. And there you've got it. You've, and you could just keep going. Um, on all the fingers until you've got it animated. In fact, you could even put a bendy former on the wrist and offset that too. So now we've got two fingers animated. And once you've animated all the fingers, you may want to have another hand. So we can do that. Uh, we will go and let's see, what was it called again? Go into your symmetry and we'll Duplicate Apple C, Apple V, and duplicate that hand. And we'll pull it into the symmetry object. And I'm gonna turn that symmetry object off. And I'm gonna press over here, flip. And then I've got another hand there. And all I need to do now is drag it out of the symmetry object and delete it. And I can always just call this hand right. And there we have two hands typing a keyboard. Uh, I'm not going to show the whole entire process, you know enough now to do a full hand rig. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Thank you. Bye.